Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to continue adding to our, pro to our project, so let's quickly have a look at what we have. We have our model, we have our UI which we're not going to look at yet, and we have our application. If you remember in the last episode about how I talked uh, that the UI will go to the application layer and return something, we'll use the application layer, something like an API. Now the part that we're missing from here is the database, so go ahead click on your uh, solution, right click, uh, add, uh, and new project. Make this a class library again, and let's give it a name of shop.database. Click OK. So let's go ahead and close this class, delete this, now what we want to do is we want to add a database context, same as we would in a normal application. Application DB context and add. <clears throat> so now let's go ahead into our CS project file here, and let's uh, add entity framework to our project. So go ahead and type in item group, and in here we want package reference. So we can remove this tag, put it like here. So we want to include um, Microsoft Entity Framework, All right? And the version for it is remove this. I don't know why that popped up. Two point one point oh. Okay, and. What we want to add is ASP net core dot identity dot entity framework. So any framework is basically just the standard uh, communication with the database and ASP net core identity is your templating for the users authentication and uh, models and tables, etc. Okay, so the reason this is erroring is because we're using core, so make sure to add core on the end of the on the on the end of both of them. And okay, so the errors go away. So now what we want to do is we just want to get identity db context. All right. So now that we're inheriting from identity db context, what we want to do is tap and seek. CTOR and that will provide us with a uh, what's called with a snippet for a constructor. And here, what we want to do is we want to pass uh, uh, DB context uh, options, same as we did when we were making the uh, what's it called um, the blog website. And uh, you want to specify which um, options the for which database these options are for. And don't forget to pass them to your base DB context, so options. And now let's just create a public, actually, prop, a DB set of type, not post, a product. So if you click control dot, it's not going to find this product. Why? Because it's sitting in the separate um, separate project, which means it's a separate DLL. So same as we added here, these are not initially part of your project and you have to import these packages in. So if you think of these as DLLs, libraries, these are just separate containers, separate toolboxes, that come with their own set of tools that you can use to build different things. So our shop.domain, the tools in that uh, toolbox are basically describing our data models for the database. So if you control dot, if you press control dot, and you go to the bottom here, you will see add reference to shop.domain. Go ahead, press that. Now, what you will see at the appear here in the depend, dependencies is you will see projects, right? And you will see shop domain. Remove reference, right? Let's remove that. 
Now, what will happen is it won't be able to find this namespace anymore. So what you can do is you can right click, add reference, and here in your add reference in the projects, you will find all of your projects and your solution. And from here you can manually add uh, whichever dependency you need. So that way you can import it, and there it is. And again, it finds the namespace. Whoop de doo, everything is alright. So let's go ahead in our products. Let's make a new property, give it an ID, which we'll be able to store. It, so we will be able to store it in a database. String. So not name. Actually, a name of the product. Let's give it a description. And let's also give it a decimal value. Okay, so now that we have a product and we have it in our database, let's add it to our application. So let's go into our create product and let's uh, see what's up. <clears throat> okay, so this error here. Yeah, we have a lot of get products. Let's delete all these. In our create product, what we want to do is, first of all, we want to import the context. So create a constructor and go ahead and make an application DB context, all right? And again, as before, just go ahead and add a reference to it. Create a context and same as before. So let's go ahead and create a public void do. So for your product, all we want to do is really call do your stuff. So in here, what we want to do is we want to pass uh, int ID and just something real quickly, int name and string description. Description. Um, we'll skip the value for now. Uh, we don't return anything. So context dot Got products in there, right? My property. So not my property. Uh, products. So products. Add a new product. So remove this and using. Okay, so why could we find the product if we don't have it in our uh, project here? Well, it's because our database has it and we basically go through like a ladder. Our database has our domain and our application has our database. Okay, and it's sort of, goes like a ladder here. Okay. Uh, so hopefully you understand that. Pause the video here and think about it for a minute, but uh, it should it should it should make sense. And here, so we, we'll just create a new project. So ID is a ID, uh, name equals name, and description equals description. Simple enough. This will be it for this episode, guys. Uh, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but in the next episode is when we're going to hook it up to our UI, actually try to add a product to our database. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. As you can see, this is going to be a long series. There's a lot of parts to it. Don't you worry. This will be getting finished off. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see this through to the end. By the end of it, you will have a working uh, shop that you can use in your freelance adventures. Well, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.